Hopefully they don't get too far, because I think the game won't get angry at us. I think I had planned it beyond the bridge the first time I played it, so... Whew. Here we go. Uh, uh, thanks! That... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Well, uh, that did not... I thought they were gonna chain react. <laughs> not exactly. Oh shit, I have nothing. These guys probably have them, right? I have no dead eye. The convoy is destroyed. Lo logramos. Viva la revolución. Yeah, all thanks to me, Marston. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Cool. Well, that was a pretty easy mission then. I didn't have to do much at all except for endure a five minute carriage ride with good old Luisa, who's already for another mission again so quickly. Jeez, woman, just give me a chance to work on a couple of things here. I don't even know what she wants me to do next. But I almost feel like we should talk to Reyes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so, hooray for sabotaging the Mexican army that stabbed me in the back, even though I technically wasn't in their employ. It was still a pretty shitty thing for them to do. Sweet. Uh, let me get that shotgun, thank you. Okay. I don't even know if I should, like, bother skinning any more of these horses. I already have harvested over 5,000 pounds of meat. I still need to kill a cougar with a stick of dynamite, which is probably going to be much more difficult than it seems, but I think I could figure out a way to do it. And then, amongst other things, we still need to complete certain other quests, and I... Because I really want to see what the expert survivalist and hunter looks like. We're pretty close on getting most of our stuff, and I can't even get these guys. So, yeah. Actually, let me take a look real fast. Some of our outfits here. Uh, we should probably change soon. I mean, it defaulted because we went through such a pivotal point in the plot, but yeah, we can the California Strangers task, that might be one of the last ones that we do for the mysterious guy who's looking for us to do either good or bad things in the world. And then here Sidewinder Gulch, we could probably do that pretty quick. And then Love is the Opiate, alright, and Purchase at the Journal Store. I tried that off screen and it would not work for me. So, uh... Yeah, kill Cougar and Daedalus and Son. That's the one with the flying. We still need to find beavers. So, and this one... Oh, God, this is going to suck. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, like $2 for 80 pounds. Sounds good. How much can we even carry without it going bad? Weird. Also, I'm pretty sure somebody literally just... <laughs> they just went up and bonked themselves against a couple of corpses there. Uh, do we do another Luisa mission? Maybe we should go to Reyes. Reyes is probably a, a good bet for now because we need to find a Santa, and I can't help but think he might be our only chance in doing so. So we'll go to Agave Viejo, and hopefully we can just go straight there and not have to do anything else. And Jesus, I am filled up on nearly everything. That's not intentional, that's just I haven't been using it. You don't need that much Red Dead in this game. You pick up and buy it far more frequently than anything else. So, uh, so we have not worn something in a while. Uh, let's wear the elegant suit. This one's always been kind of a personal favorite of mine. And uh, we'll go ahead over and meet with the leader of the rebels. Hopefully he has a really non-shitty mission for us. Ah. <sighs> How beautiful. Look at this place. We haven't been here yet, have we? I don't think so. Can we even buy a thing here? Like a place to sleep, perhaps? Probably not. That's okay. We mustn't concern ourselves with that and What? Wait, what are you are you commenting on the fact that I am phasing through this very lovely pot of just <laughs> strange botany? Okay, we can't even go in through there. That's fine. Poorly designed doors are not ones that I would like to engage in. Whew. 
So, Reyes, I've got words for you, my friend. How's it going? My name's Allison Cruz. Oh my god. Shit. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston, I do. A man like you, or me, with... With just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Viva la revolución! Their energy is, 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 uh, is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Oh, man. I think I just remembered what mission this is. Come on. Because if it's the one that I think of, then sweet Jesus, things are going to be amazing for us. But first, let's get to know our good friend Reyes here a little bit, shall we? You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best men. Oh, watch what you're writing. <laughs> if I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Well, I hope that's a promise you can keep. So how did you meet these William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich. And we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long. And he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Come on, John, we have to get to Chuparosa. My bad. <laughs> Got caught in a couple rocks. Sorry. <laughs> you have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. <laughs> In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. 
Oh, and it started raining too. This makes it so perfect. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who feeds his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. Whoa. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. <sighs> well, of course. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that licks his feet and makes him feel love. If he asked Allende to eat the shit out of his culo, Allende would do it. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside, the peasants. Not for carajo, cuidado, John. I'm sorry, The train man. will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. Oh. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So as you notice, the sun has escaped and... We get to have ourselves one of my favorite missions. <sighs> Look at this place, man. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need. But it's also filled with government troops. who we'll set off a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay. But listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? <laughs> there are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. So, ladies and gentlemen, the adventures of Solid John Marston begins. Oh, man. So, let's go start sneaking on there, shall we, with our throwing knives. A very stealthy way to kill people, and very efficient, to say the absolute least. So, if we go carefully, and quietly, it's done. And again, right over here, oh my god. Are they not nervous at all, that there's like, gunfire? Oh, there we go. That was a close one. He actually saw me. <laughs> ah, man. Marston looks so angry when he's picking that up, too. <laughs> also, as you can tell, you can actually retrieve your knives at times. And that's pretty good on keeping up on ammunition there, so... Let's just go ahead and uh, slowly take out the rest of them. This guy right here. Money shot. God, I love it's like storming and night. 